Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Najwa. I am so happy that you're here today. If you have not already, please do me a favor and take this little finger and go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button. Oh my god, I know my energy level is like right up here right now, but I am so happy and sort of laughing my butt off over here at the Meghan Markle and Harry haters, Prince Harry haters, Sussex squad. What is up, you guys? We have to talk about this Samantha Markle rank rancid deposition. So I talked in another video about how it's just already morally reprehensible, how it's wrong. She should know that it's wrong. She should not be going after her sister. Uh, I just posted a video yesterday um, on a, a video that I made supporting Harry and Meghan. Uh, it's called story time and I think I'm gonna keep it up uh, doing a story time series of just reading some of the crazy comments that I am getting on my videos on my channel it's like honey if you don't like what I'm saying you don't have to be here <laughs> but uh, I did a little video showing a story time just kind of going through what they've said you know these haters what they said in the comments and um, it's very, very hilarious to read. It's it's very hilarious to watch because they think that they are like assassinating your character and uh, getting away with it. They think that they're smarter than you and they do all kinds of belittling, calling you honey, oh she's confused, but uh, when you come back with a rebuttal that is based in reality, that is based in emotional intelligence and empathy, that is based in research and science, it's like, oh, what they do is either they don't respond, they just insult you with stuff that's irrelevant, or they sign in with another account. You know, they sign in with another account. So you guys are funny. You guys are funny. But keep on commenting on my page because you guys are putting me in the algorithm. You're putting me up there. You put promoting my channel. That's free promotion. So please keep doing it. Okay, so we need to talk about the Samantha Markle trial. Um, Sussex Squad, please tell me in the comments what you think of this because I am over here like uh, dying laughing but at the same time like sweet victory um we don't have to say that we know that this trial from the beginning was something that was extremely corrupt it was morally reprehensible that a sister should try and sue her own half sister because of money because of jealousy because of racism okay and what I find so morally reprehensible is that the UK, the UK tabloid media and the firm, it just seems like they're written all over this. Like, I don't know if they were paying for Samantha's legal bills or what it is, but for the past six years, this woman has been bad-mouthing and trashing her own family. And now she's, she's coming up with this silly deposition to sue her sister. And Judge Honeywell essentially said um, that the Oprah interview, you, you can't say that someone is defaming your character based on opinion. <laughs> Judge Honeywell said the finding to freedom, you cannot come after that because you, you Megan didn't say it with her, 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 her words. You know, the, Judge Honeywell is finding all these little holes and Samantha Markle's pathetic case. And us over here in Sussex Squad. <laughs> Child, we just over here with our popcorn, just laughing. <laughs> Eating it up. Because you know what? Racism, hate, xenophobia, jealousy, just, you know, toxic. Not, not even just envy, but envy that is so toxic, this will never, ever win. Hate will never, ever prevail. Love will always win. And it's so funny to watch the UK tabloid media and its cronies dig their feet even deeper, deeper, deeper into these holes. It's like they're digging their feet in. They don't want to let it go. 
And you know, we talked about on this channel that the Norwegian and the Swedish monarchy have members of color who married into their family and they received online harassment. They received online hate from trolls. And the nor and I'm sorry because I'm still recovering from COVID, so I'm sorry if I'm sniffly. But the Norwegian and the Swedish monarchies publicly came on the platform to renounce hate, violence, racism. Why am I talking like this? Because what will it take, UK? What will it take far right US for you to realize that this is reality? This is really people's lives. Racism and hate and misogyny and xenophobia. How long will it take? So instead of the UK correcting its mistake, it's digging its heels in. You know how I know that it's digging its heels in? When you go on YouTube and you see coverage of Kate Middleton, who I've made a video about Kate Middleton and I have nothing against her. I have something against the system of planting stories, of briefing against Harry and Meghan, of gaslighting and denouncing their struggles with prejudice in the royal family of threatening them, of harassing them. That's what I have a problem with. Not with Kate Middleton, not with the monarchy. I've said in another video, I really love British culture. I love literature from Britain. I've visited so many British castles. I've read so much about British literature and art. What hurts me is to look at a country that I, frankly, really enjoy devolve into stupidity. The world is watching you devolve in stupidity and we're trying to help you. And it was just a year ago that Americans thought that it was a good deal, good idea, some Americans thought that it was a good idea, to storm the, cap the Capitol. And the world kind of had to come in and say, this isn't a good idea. <laughs> U.S., this isn't a good idea. The world is desperately, desperately, from all corners of the world, from Africa, Asia, America, Canada, France, you know, all of Europe, actually, is trying to talk some sense into you, United Kingdom, but you don't want to listen. It was just one year ago that extremely polarized people stormed the Capitol in the United States. And they thought that that was advocacy. They thought that that was justice. They thought that that was democracy. But it wasn't. The hate that the UK tabloid media and Samantha Markle against her own sister. You know, I, I, could, I could denounce and hold the UK tabloid media responsible for its ignorance and its indignance. But Samantha Markle, your own sister, your own sister. And I said in another video, if you really think that if Samantha Markle, far, far long before Meghan even thought of joining the royal family, if Samantha Markle had been a good sister and thought about someone other than herself, perhaps her and Meghan would have a relationship. Perhaps she would have been invited to the wedding. Perhaps these a, a decade wouldn't have went by without her speaking to her sister. Her own children. Don't talk to her. She went to the UK when Megan was actually staying in the UK. She went to the UK to try to deliver a letter to her and they refused to see her. 
that right there shows you that from the beginning it has all been about Samantha Markle. It's all been about Samantha Markle and you should feel absolutely atrocious for inciting hate towards your own blood from a bunch of Karens who want to downplay Harry and Meghan's experience and their journey. Guys, UK, UK and US, and I'm talking to both of you guys because this lawsuit happened on US territory, the place where I was born. So I'm talking to both of you guys because I get a lot of trolls in my comments who say, oh, stupid American. <laughs> One guy said, oh my God, I, I like, please keep commenting trolls because um, you, you really are providing my comedic relief. <laughs> You're providing me with so much, uh, so, so, something of such value, a nice laugh. But one guy said, idiot bubble head. <laughs> That's why one guy commented on my video. Idiot bubble head. Oh, well, yeah, you, you really are contributing something to this, this current event discussion. Thank you for your, your insightful contribution to this discussion. But, you know, I'm talking to the U.S. and the U.K. because I've gotten in the comments from cult trolls saying, you don't, you're not British, you're not in the U.K., so you don't have a right to speak on this subject. Ah, excuse me, yes, I do. Even if I wasn't British, even if I wasn't British or American, and, and, and me being American gives me full right to speak on this current events issue. But beyond that, even if I was Indian, Chinese, uh, Italian, I can speak on this issue. World issues are a public domain to speak on. <laughs> but no, I do have a place to speak on the issues, this issue because Megan is American. And she's black. And Harry very soon might become American because he can't deal with your idiocracy. Your idiocy in the UK. Your stupidity. Your prejudice. Your hate and your lies. So I do have the right to speak on this because you... We, we sent, America sent Megan to you and you sent her back with mental illness. You sent her back with suicidal thoughts. You sent her back with smear campaigns constantly going, whether she's talking or not constantly going. So yes, I do have authority to speak on this. And I will continue to. The fact that you guys are crawling into my subs like a little, like cockroaches, lets me know that I'm doing something right. And I will fight for justice until my dying day. Now I've said on this channel before, my husband's white. My best friend is white. I'm not, I'm not coming on here to be some militant black woman saying, oh, black lives matter. Black lives matter. Mm -mm, honey child, no, no, no. Mm -mm. White people should marry in their race. Black people should marry in their race. And you should mind your business. Uh-uh, that's what they want. They want me to be an ignorant, uneducated lump. And when they see that's not who I am, oh, they mad. They mad, but... Okay, Samantha Markle, thank you for that. Thank you for your contribution. And thank you sh for showing the world how desperate they are over in Shutter Island. <laughs> to show how desperate and, and bigoted you guys are being. I'm going to continue to love um, British culture, my British comedians, you know, um, What's the guy from Fresh Meat? God, I love him. Um, Jack Whitehall. Jack Whitehall. I'm going to continue to watch Jack Whitehall on Netflix. I'm going to continue to read books and research about the Victorians, about the Tudors, okay? About the Edwardians. 
I'm going to keep watching Downton Abbey. But I'm also going to keep listening to Dr. Shola. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep looking at Common Ground. I'm going to keep listening to, um, what's her name? Hirsch. Last name Hirsch. She wrote the book Brit-ish. Brit-ish. But the, the, the Kahinde Andrews, I'm going to keep listening to them. I'm going to keep listening to the Russell Brands. I have no problem with the monarchy. I think the monarchy should stay. I don't have a popular opinion amongst uh, the Sussex squad in that regard because I don't think it's going to be very easy to unfuse the monarchy from being interweaved into everything that is British culture. I have British friends you know, who are monarchists. And we have no problem because our exchanges don't end at racism and bigotry. See, there's a difference between a mon be be being, being a monarchist and being a bigot. There's a difference between being a conservative American and being a bigot. So Judge Honeywell... Please dismiss this rancid rank case. Please. Please. And Harry and Megan, we love you. We will continue to support you guys, uplift you, hold you. We are so happy that you guys are beautiful, thriving, healthy, well, prosperous. And that is what the haters hate to see. That's why you guys are receiving this hate. But I know I will, and people like me will continue to fight for what's human, for what's decent. Not a bunch of ignorant, you know, you guys are just, oof, pick up a book. Please pick up a book. Please. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. And Samantha Markle, stop being so doggone um, slanderous and vitriolic. You know, if she works in the mental health field, you know, Sussex Squad Family TV made a joke about this. It's like, can you see the irony that this woman works in the mental health field? You need to talk to a therapist. Trolls, y'all need to talk to a therapist. And you know what? I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stay on here forever. But I do want to address very quickly Nate the Lawyer, no, wait, lawyer and Christopher Boozy. Now. If Christopher Boozy came after Nate the lawyer's disability, I completely renounce such behavior. That right there is wrong. I don't support it. But what I do know is that when I go on Nate the lawyer's YouTube channel, I can't stand to watch his videos. I can't stand it. Now, I am speaking from the perspective of someone who is not well informed on the content of his videos because I cannot stand the way that he belittles this struggle that is so much bigger than him by throwing Meghan Markle under the bus to get monetization from the women, the Karens, that hate Meghan Markle. And for that reason, I cannot stomach it. I can't stay on one single video, Nate. I can't stay on one video, Nate. And then he comes after Christopher Boozy. Christopher Boozy, for you all that who don't know, owns Bot Sentinel and a um, up-and-coming social media app called, uh, I think it's Sp Spotify? Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Christopher Boozy, I'm sorry if I have messed up the name of the app. Um, but he runs a company that investigates into online harassment on social media, and he is the one who spearheaded the investigation. He and his uh, startup are the ones who spearheaded the investigation that looked into the Twitter hate campaign that had been targeted towards Harry and Meghan since 2020. Since 2020, 3.5 million YouTube market on hating on Harry and Meghan. And people want to prowl up into my comments and say, who's paying me? Honey, nobody's paying me. I'm on 
on here speaking about what I believe in, just like you are. The difference is, over here stands morally uh, substantiated morals. Over there stands hate and vitriol. Um, but Christopher Boozy, I, I really don't see anything wrong with this man. In fact, I see him to be a very admirable person. He's well educated. Um, I, I feel, and then I even hear that he doesn't have a formal education. So he's self-educated and successful. He's up in New York doing his best. And he's working towards the common good to get rid of the vile online harassment culture that has been born. And maybe he single-handedly won't succeed. But together with others who actually have some level of emotional intelligence combined with some intellectual intelligence, hopefully they're going to work to dismantle targeted hate campaigns like the one that Samantha Markle rallied against her sister. Like the one that Nathan Lawyer's Karen supporters and Nathan Lawyer have done. You know what's funny is when I go on YouTube and I look up Christopher Boozy, um, very little of what I see is actually talking about his reputation, uh, his reputable background, his, his, his experiences, his interviews. Things that are personally coming from his brand or those who are curious, like myself, about the studies that he partakes in. The majority of what I see is Nate the Lawyer and Nate the Lawyer's <laughs> Britain first friends, you know? So, yeah. Let you guys decide on that one. I know trolls, they're y'all just gonna eat this one up, but let's get real, UK. Like I said in the first video I posted about this subject, let's get real, UK and US. Now, US, I gotta say, I love my country of birth, and even though we got a few of the far extreme polarized, you know, crazies out there who basically want to fight to keep manifest destiny. We also have those, I would say, who are really fighting to dismantle institutional prejudice. More so, it would seem, on a higher scale than in Shutter Island. And like I said, I love the culture of Britain that was tasteful, that was kind, that was respectful, that was interesting. But this part of British culture, no, I don't like it. And America's not perfect, but I don't see its media doing what the UK media is doing. I don't see it. And I don't see the media inciting hate in the way the UK media is doing. And I don't see people being so gullible <clears throat> and miserable enough to believe and follow and carry out the propaganda. I, I, I can't say that my country of birth does that on the scale that the UK does. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments. If you're gonna bring hate to this channel, as I said, for a while I'm gonna entertain you guys, okay? Cause you coming on here thinking you know me cause you put some label on me, but you don't. Mm-mm, you don't, okay? If I look like the type of person who's going to go and listen to your comments and then... <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I can't. If you think that's going to be me, you have got something else coming. Because I'm going to show you. I'm going to I'm gonna show you. I'm going to show you who I am. And you're going to see it. So you can bring the hate for a while. My channel is very young. 
my channel is very young and despite what people may believe this is not for monetization this is where I like to discuss what's on my thoughts and lo and behold there are people out there who support me and there are people out there who are like-minded that's what this channel is for but if you're gonna bring hate go ahead I really like it it makes me laugh I, it, it makes me laugh so come on but eventually I'm gonna do something that you're gonna hate eventually I'm not gonna talk to you I'm not gonna respond I'm gonna leave you in silence and we know if one thing abusers hate is being silenced so when that moment comes don't say I didn't tell you so. But if you want to bring hate to this channel for now, go ahead. Uh, because you bring more popularity to, to, to my channel. And um, we would, here in the Sussex Squad, we would just like the, the, the world to see just how ignorant you people are. So, go ahead. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I am so happy that you guys are here. If you haven't already, like I said, please go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.